All right, so welcome to another video and today we are talking about a brand new ROM. Not exactly. We are talking about the good old CRDroid 8.5. Now this is on the Redmi Note 10 Pro and the Note 10 Pro Max. I've been using it for more than a week. I've been gone, I know. But there were some things and now we are back in action with custom ROM and amazing videos coming up. So we are talking about CRDroid 8.5. 10 over here. This is the Android 12.1 version that we are talking about. Of course, there is an Android 13 version as well, but this is more stable. This gives you better performance and it has a ton of customization features. So we're going to cover the complete review about this amazing ROM. So stay tuned till the end because you will get a lot of important information before you actually go ahead and flash this ROM. So before we get into the details, if you haven't already, please subscribe because it doesn't cost you anything and it really motivates us to make amazing content like this. Now without further ado, hello awesome people. Welcome to Phonops. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. All right, so first things first, this is CR Droid 8.10 official Android 12 L. This is pretty old, about 10 days old update, updated on the 31st of October 2022. And if we look at the change log over here, let's see what we have. We have a ton of things, including October security patch. Now I know that the November security patch is already out and we should have an Android 12 based update soon. I really hope so because Android 13 custom ROMs are still you know, catching up with the 12 stability features and performance. But anyways, Android October security update, launcher improved theme icon support, launcher improved theming from home screen Google search bar, add toggle to display themed icons, added adaptive playback toggle, miscellaneous fixes and improvements, upstreamed kernel to this version and kernel performance improvements. Now, most of the change log over here is about customization and some part of it is about performance and I'm really happy to report that the performance is the best that I've ever experienced on the Redmi Note 10 Pro and it applies the same thing for the Note 10 Pro Max as well. So let's quickly actually go to settings over here and let's go to about phone. Now over here if we actually go to say the Android version, as you can see this is CR Droid 8.10 official October security patch. The kernel over here is Sigma kernel and boy does it perform. For the first time, I was able to play Apex Legends Mobile on this particular device, no matter what ROM, and I was able to win a couple of matches in ranked mode. The FPS did drop and, you know, probably I'll definitely make a gaming review on it. But yes, it's very good for gaming and that will show in benchmark numbers as well. But first, let's talk about the general aesthetics, improvements, the basic stability of the ROM. How good is it to use as a daily driver and stuff like that. So first things first, the moment you boot into the home screen, you will see that everything is pretty straightforward. Different sort of icons over here. You do get, yes, you heard it right. As you can see, this is the MIUI camera over here and it is working absolutely okay. So no problems with the MIUI camera. Even the 64 megapixel mode is working absolutely as expected. So video recording, pictures, portrait, everything on the MIUI camera is doing a brilliant job. Now, apart from this, the general stability and smoothness of this ROM is great in day-to-day -day usage. I even used this device as my personal for say about two days and I did not have any issues at all. And if you look at the Google feed, it is smoother than other custom ROMs. So it works really, really well. You do get Google dialer, Google messaging. So you don't really have that call recording without the prompt, but there is a workaround for that. And we all know how to do that, right? Now, apart from this, if we talk about the amount of applications that are installed in this particular ROM, of course, this is CR Droid. It is highly bloated, so no, bloatware at all. Now, as you can see, I've played Apex Mobile on it and I've also played PUBG New State or New State as they have renamed it, right? Now, let's quickly actually go to the battery section because that is important for a lot of you guys. Now, let me tell you, this device comes with a Snapdragon 732 processor and boy, is it a battery beast. The standby times on this ROM are rock solid. So the standby drain on this ROM is pretty amazing. The standard usage, like if you're doing a hour of gaming and normal usage during the day, you will easily get seven to seven and a half hours of screen on time. Now the charging speeds on this ROM are pretty good as well. You do get around 30 to 33 watts of charging. Not the complete 33, but 30, 31, and it's pretty good. One hour, 10 minutes, one hour, 15 minutes, bam, your phone is charged. 
Now, as you can see, it is Android 12.1 and all the information over here is something that you need. You do get a bunch of extra features, including extra dim. And if you go to the additional quick tiles, you do have a lot of them over here. You have things like caffeine, reading mode, ambient display, system profiles, FPS meter built into the ROM. So all those good things for CR Drive based on Android 12.1 are there and they are working as expected. Now let's quickly actually go to settings over here and as you can see I've selected a slightly different font this time so that you can see the screen of the phone clearly right now if you actually see all the other features you will find everything to be pretty similar to Android 12 custom ROMs but the moment you go to CR Droid settings bam the amount of customization that you get in this ROM is amazing and I really love it you can customize your status bar icons your clock style clock and date network traffic monitor and I've spent a good one hour on customizing this phone using this entire menu so that I can understand as to which option does what and give this video a like and let me know in the comment section if you want me to make a dedicated video on all of these custom ROMs one by one as to what customization is available and how to use them that would be really really interesting. Now, apart from this, as you can see, Volti icon, voice over Wi-Fi icon, colored icons, battery style can be changed. I do have a battery bar enabled over here and quick pull down, smart pull down, all these things are present as well. Now you do have quick settings customization available in a very, very elaborated manner. If I were to, that is the reason I said, you know, there would be a dedicated video for the customization of these custom ROMs. It would be really, really interesting. Lock screen customization is present and boy the lock screen looks pretty pretty decent. Now as you can see everything is available over here and it looks great. Let's quickly unlock the device. Now navigation customization including pixel animation is there. Buttons can be customized for partial screenshot as well that is good. User interface you can customize a ton of options in the UI and notification has a re-ticker, heads up, less boring, heads up and all that stuff. There is a ton of sound customization under miscellaneous. You do have a dedicated game space and yes, it's pretty good because you do get a ton of customizations for the gaming menu. And as you can see, I've kept almost all the benchmark applications and games in the game space section so that you get the complete experience when you're using it, right? Now there is this about CR Droid option. And if you actually go to display, I've always kept this in 120 Hertz mode all the time. And it's given me pretty decent battery life. So in my opinion, with MIUI camera, when you have a ROM like CR Droid, which gives you the decent camera experience, good charging speeds, amazing battery life, and you can actually game on it, it actually gives a new life to your phone, right? Now, apart from this, if you talk about the multitasking, it's pretty good. Even the animations in the multitasking menu are amazing. And if you actually go to, say, the launcher settings over here, you do get this CR Droid launcher, which does give you a ton of customization options in the launcher itself. Now, all said and done, what really matters is how good is the performance. Now, I did tell you that in Apex Mobile, you do get 50 FPS of gaming, and most of the time, even in intense fights, it will give you 35 to 40 FPS and you can't really expect more than that from a device that is about almost one and a half to two years old and it is coming with a 700 series chipset. So you can actually game on this, but let's talk about the interesting stuff that is the benchmark numbers. First things first we will talk about is Antutu benchmark over here. Now as you can see, we got a very good score, 371,193. The temperature did increase by 4.8 degrees and we just lost 3% battery. Now that takes us to the next option that is the gallery. So let's quickly look for the gallery, here it is. And we're going to talk about the CPU throttle test. Now this result was not that great, but let me tell you, I played Apex Mobile for more than an hour and the sustained performance was pretty good. And because again, you know, it's a 700 series chipset, so it doesn't really heat up that much. So the benchmark numbers are great. The gaming performance is good. You have good battery life. Almost it checks out on every front. Now, if you actually go to the Google Play Store, you will notice that the Play Store certification is present. You do have wide wine L1, so you can content, you know, you can consume amazing content like Netflix and Amazon Prime in HD as well. And you can use your banking applications. Matter of fact, I did use Google Pay and some Indian banking applications with which I have an account and it worked flawlessly just fine for me. Now there might be a few bugs here and there, but in a week's usage, I've not really encountered any. And if you are someone who's looking for a long-term review, this is the long-term review of the best custom ROM that I've found so far 
for the Redmi Note 10 Pro and the Pro Max. Now let me know in the comment section what do you think about this video. I'll see you in the next one. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.